the little pieces of ginger on in this hot cider apple cider was really good I got my noodle water all boiling but I shut it off I'm gonna wait for a little bit and on the other side I got a warmed up and fully browned venison so now I'm gonna show you is the uh, curry sauce well the main spices in the curry are already in the meat what I'm just doing is using the thickener thing so I'll take like just regular Argo corn starch and I like it because it's in a plastic can it's just like the Jetsons or something and uh, I got two cups of water and then I put another two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'll put three. How's that? that? That's per precise, huh? Because I got two cups of water. And all you do is you just mix it up really good. I think that'll be good. And what I and most people do is put like a couple of teaspoons of soy sauce in there. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put a little bit of soy sauce, and then I'm gonna get crazy and put some Worcestershire sauce in there for a little bit of sweet kick. What do you think? That'll be. That'll be good. So, oh, made a mess. So some Worcestershire sauce, and that's to get the salt in there. I don't use any salt in my curry, and just mix it all up so it looks like this, and then just. Pour it into your curry and let it thicken. And that's got to thicken for a while. So I'll put it on medium high heat and then cover it up. And then, uh, in case I want to thicken it some more, I got my mixing for the, the thickener and to keep keep the cornstarch out because there'll be a part three to this too. Yeah. So I'm cooking venison curry. This is Augustus Larch.